forgive. Mark chapter 11, verses 25 and 26. And whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him, that your Father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive your trespasses. The whole issue of forgiveness is a very important subject in the Bible. Forgiveness in the sense of us receiving forgiveness from God for our wrongdoing and also in the sense of us extending forgiveness to other people who have wronged us. And we want to spend some time this week talking about forgiving others, forgiving people who have hurt us, who have wronged us, who have offended us in one way or another. The Lord Jesus, in his teaching, emphasized the importance of forgiving people. And right here in Mark chapter 11, the passage that we just read, Jesus in the context of having faith in God and moving mountains and receiving answers to prayer, he right after, he continues right into talking about forgiving people. He says, so when you stand praying, that means when you are going before God, um, extending your faith in God, when you are believing God and asking God for things for your own life and for your own needs, when you stand praying, here's one very important thing God is looking for. He's looking at whether you are ready to extend forgiveness to those who have offended you. And notice how Jesus says, you have to, if you have anything against anyone, he says, you need to forgive them. Anything, anyone. That means there are no clauses involved here. I can't say, well, God, you know, I can forgive everyone except so and so. No, he says, anyone. Or there are no conditions that we can put, say, God, you know, all the other things you've done against me, I'm forgiving except for this one thing. No, Jesus said, anything, anyone, you have to forgive. He said, that's so important. Why? Because he tells us in verse 26, it says, If you do not forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive you your trespasses. Now, that's very interesting that God, our experiencing forgiveness is somehow interrelated to our extending forgiveness to other people. Now, this does not mean that forgiveness is based on something we do. It's always based on what Christ Jesus did for us on the cross because he paid for all of our sins. But the point here is, the truth here is that my experience of God, God, the forgiveness of God working in my life will be dependent or is connected to my extending forgiveness to other people. We're going to explore that further this week. But the first thing you must understand anything, anyone. The slate must be absolutely clean. That's how we have to walk in forgiveness. Extend forgiveness to anyone and anything. Let's pray. Father, we pray and ask that you will give us the grace to extend forgiveness to anyone and about anything. Help us to do this, we pray in Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.